This is Jim Green of JMR Systems. This short vignette will show us how to make a measuring spoon in Gibbscam using its highly sophisticated parasolid modeler. This is the spoon that we're going to make. It's a 60 thousandths wall measuring spoon. What we'll do is start out by making the uh, two spheres that incorporate the uh, large and small end of the measuring spoon. First we'll make a sphere around zero zero with a radius of one inch. Now I'd like to make another sphere that's over two and a half inches which is the length of the handle and that will have a radius of 0.5. Now we need something to connect these two halves of the spoon together, the handle. For this, we will make a um, coordinate measuring or coordinate system that's orthogonal to the xy plane and uh, something that I can draw a circle on. So I'll bring up a uh, layer, and this layer will allow us to put a circle. And I'll make that circle have a radius of 0.35 inch. Now we'll make that a cylinder by extruding that circle out the two and a half inches to the other end of the spoon. At this point we have three solid bodies and I'd like to have those become one solid body. So my solid modeler has the ability to uh, click on all three and hit the plus sign which adds bodies together or makes them unioned. And now that we have them one solid body, I'd like to cut them in half so that I can then shell out the measuring spoon. And in this case, again, the solid modeler has a tool that allows us to type in a shell thickness. What I'll do is select the mo model itself and then uh, well, before we do that, I want to add fillets. I'll put the fillets all in at once with a radius of a hundred thousandths. Now I'll do the shelling so that the shell picks up the fillet as well. This is uh, advanced solid modeling. We have two solid modeling toolbars. We take the solid, take the face that we want to shell, put in a value, in this case sixty thousandths. and we say do it and now the model has been created with the shell wall thickness of 60 thousandths and fillets in place. Thank you.